Zealand Hyde property. Well, Wine height represents CSS property that we can use to set distance between lines in our text. Like a value for line height property, we can use pixels, and values, points, or we can set value without any specific unit. In that case, this means that normal or standard distance between lines will be multiplied with the value that you have set. So, in this example, we have 2, which means that distance between lines will be 2 times bigger than normal or regular distance between lines. Ok, let's see some example for this. Ok, for this part I have already prepared simple HTML document structure. Our HTML document has head and body, and inside of body we have text paragraph with some dummy lower ipsum text inside of it. Inside of head we have just title for this HTML document. I save this document like index.html on the desktop. So let's minimize our text editor. And this is our index web page, so let's open it. This is how our web page looks like for now. Ok, let's minimize our text editor. So first thing that I want to do, for our text paragraph, let's define class HTML attribute and like a value for this. Class, let's set L age dash 30. Ok, now inside of head, let's define style block, where we're gonna define all CSS styles for this HTML document. So now I want to create LH30 class selector here for our paragraph. Ok. So as we know, class selectors always starts with a dot, then L, H, dash, 30. Now let's define declaration block. And inside of it, let's define line height CSS property with the value 30 pixels. OK, so now basically you see that LH30 actually stands for line height, 30 pixels. Ok, now let's save these changes. Let's go back in our web browser and let's refresh it. And voila! You can see that now we have 30 pixels distance between lines for every each line in our text. Ok, let's analyze our web page. Let's click on the right click. Let's select Inspect. So now on the right hand side, you can see structure of our HTML document. So let's expand head, let's expand body, let's click on our text paragraph here. So if we scroll down here, you can see that we have our LH30 class selector with line height CSS property and value 30 pixels. So, if we uncheck this, you can see how our text will look like without this property. So, let's check it back. Also, if we click on the 30 pixels here, we can use arrows up and down to increase or to decrease this value just to see how your text will look like with the different values. Also, instead of pixels, we can use various units, for example, 2.5 and values, ok, 25 points, and also we can use percentages. Percentages are very confusing at the first sight, as you can see we have some weird looking text. So reason for this is that value that we set in percentages means that 100% is basically height 
that is equal to height of your text. Okay, so line height set in percentages is very rare, but you can try to just to see how this works. Okay, so this is how you can use line height CSS properties, so feel free to play around with this. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles, and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.